times and I measured and I saw that I had four cups, not three and a half. This is why it's very difficult to go by cups or by a, a so I'm going to put the whole thing. These are three and a half cups, which is a little bit over, a little bit less than a, a 300 and 500 grams, 500, right? So we put this and to that, we add the uh, baking powder. So this is the baking powder. We're going to mix it like this. Baking powder is very important in this case because you go, you're not going to use any yeast. Um, after that, we're going to add uh, the butter. Now the butter that you want to use need to be cold and not soft. So really cold from the refrigerator. So we're going to add this right here. And by the way, you can do it with your hands, which is a lot of fun. Let's play with it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we add, uh, so we have the, the, the flour, we have the baking powder, and we are going to add the uh, sugar, uh, uh, and we, we add the, the, the butter. So, the sugar. Now that's very important. In your recipe, there is no sugar, it doesn't call for a sugar. And the reason is, this dough, doesn't have to be sweet almost at all because you get a lot of sweetness from the filling. Plus, you sprinkle usually on top a, a, a powdered sugar for the sweetness. So, it depends how sweet you like your stuff. We like it sweet, so we add three cup, uh, uh, three quarters cup of sugar. Right, that's a three quarters mm -hmm. cup? Three quarters cup of sugar I add to that mix. This is powdered sugar. But you don't have to. It all depends on you. You can put less. We like it sweet. It's, wow, adds a lot to the taste of it. So remember, th uh, three cups of the, uh, a three quarter cup of the sugar. Then you add this uh, vanilla sugar, which actually, if you use the other one, you don't have to use this, but vanilla is always good, and we are going to add this one too. Now, most doughs, most cookies, like I said it before, and cakes, are approximately 30% fed by volume, most. So I didn't even measure it, but I can tell you right away that it has like three quarters. And now um, the recipe calls also for a milk or water. You can use water. We like milk because milk is tastier. But it is very important not to add it directly to the mix because this is not a dough like bread dough. This is a different dough. It's supposed to be crumbly like that. So we are going to start to make the dough. I will do it with small pulses. Always better with pulses. And after this is mixed, see, Gus, can you get a little closer? Look what you have here. You see that the, all that butter just disappeared. But actually it didn't disappear. It's inside those crumbs. See those crumbs? These have butter in it. So when this is ready, we want to introduce the milk or the water very slowly. Now, if you have a food processor, you have this. Now, if you wondered ever, this has a tiny, tiny hole right in the end of this cup. And the reason is some recipe calls for very, very slow uh, introduction of the, the liquid. For example, when you make uh, and mayonnaise. You cannot add the, 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 the lemon or the water very quickly, you have to do it very slowly. So this spritz the liquid very, very slow. So I'm going to put it in and I'm going to add the water. It doesn't matter how fast I add it, because it will go slow, you see? You can see how it, how slowly, slowly it comes in. doesn't like the water that much because it makes it harder for it to work it out. Okay. And you can see how the liquid comes in. Now if you don't get this fancy trick, you need to move it like that a little bit. Oh, More now. I don't know if you remember when I talked about uh, about the pitas. That the dough, the softer it is, 
the sticky it is, the better the dough will be eventually. Now, what we have here is a little bit, no, well, it's okay if we cool it, right? Or you can work with that, Adas? Yeah. This is how you like to work with it? Mm -hmm. Now, what you see, it looks like a paste. It doesn't look like a dough that has a, that we make bread. And the reason is it's very, very different. This has a lot of fat in it, which makes it like a, a very thick cream. Now, once we have all of these things uh, inside, uh, we are going to, we, well, oven need to be preheated. I should have mentioned it right from the start, but oven need to be re, re, uh, preheated for 340 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you didn't preheat, then you just make uh, mixing everything. Now, just remember not to put it in the oven until it's uh, 340. By, by the time we finish this, we'll get to the 340. At this point, I am going to ask uh, our beloved Adas, because she makes those cookies all the time, to show us how she makes her famous cookies. Shalom Adas. Shalom, Bracha. <laughs> Bracha means blessings. So, Adas is first uh, adding some flour. Then she takes the dough. Now, the dough is cold because of the butter and very, very sticky. You want to add? I, I know. You want to add a little bit? Yeah. yeah. See, it's very sticky. It's workable. It will be delicious. But when it's very, very, you see, it's really like, a, it's really, it feels like really a very thick. It, let me move. You see how it is? It's not that sticky. But a little bit. So Adas adds another, let's say, quarter cup of flour. Remember that everything is flexible. So she adds the. See? See, one, now it collects it and makes it like a ball, you see? And that's what we want. A little bit more. But now, what it will do, it will collect it and create a ball. And we don't want to overdo it. Because we don't want to heat the butter. I think that's fine about that. A little bit more. It's this and that's fine. Right. Okay. Now, usually when you work with dough, you want to put even a little bit of flour on your hands so it will not stick. Uh, and you want to flour the area. Now you see how it looks. It does look like a traditional dough. But make no mistakes. This is going to be unbelievable. It's going to melt in your mouth like cotton candy and the be and and I, I say about everything the best part but this is also one of the best parts you can put in it whatever you want later on so that's it's the flour and as you can see she works with it a little bit she adds a little bit more flour even yeah. yeah. So I would say if you can weigh, put 500 grams because I did put a little bit less. I used it as uh, uh, three and a half cups. I think we, it requires a little, a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. But remember, no matter what is the recipe, you can never make a precise, precise recipe when you use flour. And the reason is the moisture content of the flour, which is really an unknown element. Now, Hadas is going to cut it into three equal halves. Now, this was meant to check your listening abilities, and not really three equals half, three equals uh, equal um, thirds. Here it is. And Hadas works this dough, as you can see. We want it to be thin. We don't want it to be very, very thin, but we want it to be thin. So she works it. Now, with this, yeah, this doesn't have to be the most beautiful way. And the reason is you're going to cover it later with some uh, powdered sugar. So ideally, yeah, you want to have a perfect uh, uh, rectangular or a rectangular. But if not, it's fine too. Remember, it's, it's, uh, you want to. You can do whatever you want. You want a spatula. So Adas takes this Nutella. We love Nutella, even though it's not the healthiest mm -hmm. thing. But what you can do, you can put the uh, dates, um, paste. Yeah. You can find date paste. You can put any of the jams that you like. You can put prune even, which I don't like at all. 
you can put apricot jam, you can put whatever you like. So Adas adds this and see she's very generous. This is her nature. And she adds more and more. And once she's done with it, she's going to roll it. See? And now, look how she rolls it. See how she rolls it? Look, roll it, so easy. Look how easy it is. Okay, now and she makes like a long uh, sausage. And after she makes this long sausage, she's going to cut it first to half. We don't have to, but it's just easier to move it with the... Right, sausage. yes. Yeah. Right. And then what do you do? Then I, I cut it, but not all the way. I just right. She it. just makes indentations. What a beautiful word. You see, just indentation, not all the way. Yeah. Just to break the top. Yes, it's easier to cut them. It's the easier end. to cut them later. You oh, see, that's it. One. We need to make yeah. another one. Why not? It will give time for those who make it to make it. So let's do it quickly. We'll finish this and then we will move. Put them in the oven. Now the secret for this dough is that uh, the content of the cold butter that we added uh, and broke it into the, the flour will make it, uh, uh, we call it in Hebrew a crumbly dough, that it really crumbles in your mouth. Once you put a bite, it just breaks and melts in your mouth. You see, so it does makes it thin. But again, look, it's supposed to be rectangular, but again, if it's not, it's fine. See? It's kind of the shape and that's enough. And we add to it, this time we're going to add Nutella also, because we love Nutella. Our kids love. Kids love Nutella, but you can do whatever <laughs> you want. And we spread it. Yeah. Just quickly, you don't need to, you know, it's not something that you have to do precisely. It doesn't matter. Eventually, because you roll it, everything gets in. Yeah. And it does look like a lot of Nutella, but that's what makes it tasty. And remember, again, no matter what you put in it, it's still not more fattening than anything that you buy in ShopRite, and it's a day and night. And if you wanted to make it healthier, then you don't have to put the sugar in the dough. Enter. we have a question about what temperature the oven's at. The oven is at 340 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know how much it is in Kelvin. <laughs> but if, uh, yeah, Fahrenheit. And you see, this is, the, in, in this one, I does put even more Nutella. She was very, very generous. So if you make it to, you know, children, grandchildren, and you want to make it really ad addictive, then you make it this way. It's really beyond belief, the taste of this. We, we say, uh, uh, we make this, uh, this cake for the past 23 years of us, you would say, from Israel? Yeah, and my mom used to make it with dates. With dates, so that's his mom. And my mom used to make it with the, with the nuts, but mm -hmm. then she used to make them circular, mm -hmm. one by one. So you make one by one. They call it mamu. Yeah. Okay, so you see? Yeah, she can't look so how she I does it like to. a baker. How fast and precise. You should help me with my moil. Uh, <laughs> look how well you cut and in the right angle. Good for you. Okay, so so these, now when they're ready, we are going to put them in the oven. And it goes into the oven. Uh, around, uh, around 25 minutes. 25 to 30, you have to right. Wow, we were 25 minutes. Okay. We'll see. I'm going to clear the for you. Very good. <laughs> and now we are going to work a little bit on the other stuff, which is much easier. So this one, the reward is very high because yeah. it's really, really delicious. But for them, I think. Yeah. So, look, I make all the mess and you clean. As I said, everything that I do could never be performed without the right person 
to make it happen, which is a dance. Always helps me and always make sure that I'm doing the right thing. And correct 95.7% of the times, which is very high. <laughs> wow. Okay. What a compliment. <laughs> yeah. Now, okay. let's talk about this. I don't know, Michelle, have you seen this in the, do you buy those? Because you only one with the microphone, with this, with the not beauty. Do you use these ever? Yeah, the, they have it in the kosher. A shop right has it. I've, yeah. Right. So these, uh, now, in Amer have you heard in America of, of the Petit Bear, Petit Bear uh, French cookies, uh, biscuits, or no? Everyone else is muted, but I. Petit Bear, Petit Bear. Petit Bear cookies, probably not. Biscuits. So, the Petit Bear uh, biscuits are maybe one of the most famous things in France. They invented, I don't know, remember. I used to know the name of the person who invented it, that was in the 18, uh, 18 something. And these biscuits were revolutionary. They had a specific shape and they are very, very popular. They're called Petit Bear. Petit is small and bear means butter because they contain butter. But unlike regular cookies that you buy that they said contain around 30% fat, these Petit Bear, not these, the, the original ones have like 13% fat, which is really very less than half percent of the fat. And these, the Israeli fat, even less, like 10%. So think about it, it's flat like a matzah, so you can say it's like the ugly cousin of the matzah, uh, no, the, 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 the fancy cousin of the matzah, because this is sweeter than the matzah and it has some fat, but the fat, on the other hand, is still very, 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 very thin. Look how small it is. You see, now these, you see these indentations? Again, this is a fake of the original. The Petit Bell, a biscuit, has, um, uh, four in the corners, and they have eight, eight, 10 on the top, eight, 14 on the top, and 10 on the side. So four in the corners, uh, 10 and 14, or eight and 14. And so four for the four season, 24 for the 24 hours a day, and 52, which is the total of the weeks of the year. So what can we do with it? This is already made. So because of that, we don't need to bake anything. We just break it and then add it to the mixture. Sorry for talking too long about the Petit Bear, because the Petit Bear is really, really a great cookie. Now, first, we, we want to break them. How do we break them? You can break them in the food processor, but that's actually not as good, because we want to control how we break them. So we want to break them in a way that they will be crumbled, but not really a powder. Because we don't want the flour, we just want them crumbled. We're going to use two of these, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make two of these. And as I said, Reagan, it's an extraordinarily cheap product, these biscuits. I'll tell you what they do in, in Israel and in England. I don't know how popular in America tea with biscuits. In America, everybody drinks coffee. In, in, in France, in England especially, it's the milk uh, with the tea, biscuits, right? So uh, that's why it's so popular. So when you, when you take even by, by those, even, even in coffee, it will soften and melt in your mouth. Okay, got it. Now we have this, we want to break them. How can we break them? It's a great anger management therapy, where we want to remove the air, and then we want to break them. We can break them like this, or we can take this and start working it. You see? Like this. With the rolling thing. Hmm? With the rolling thing. With the rolling thing. Thing. Okay. I remove the air so you won't have. Okay. See? It's closed, it's okay. I know. <laughs> the problem is it burst. Okay. Now we if we have a little bit few stubborn ones. We're going to take care of them later. But you see how it looks? This is kind of what is our dough. Again, very, very low moisture and very, very low fat content. And this- You're I'm you're to Can't you your yeah, video yeah. stop? Your video oh, stop? We can fix that. We can fix that. Um, can we, we can fix that. Uh, we can fix that. Okay, yeah. Are we fixed? 
Look, now, we are going... Maybe make the lotus, uh, lotus, lotus first. first. Yeah, because it needs to be for uh, Right, so let's do the lotus tree. Once again, I don't know how familiar you are with the lotus tree, but the lotus cream is a very delicious thing made by uh, the bisque of lotus. So the first thing we're going to make this paste with these biscuits and throw it in the microwave for uh, maybe 30 seconds. We need a bowl. So I'm going to add those. You can imagine how good it's going to be. This is one of the most delish. I'm going to do this. I'm going to break those a little bit like that. Yeah. And it's fine it's a, to have chunk. Yeah, but these are very big. Yeah, very big. This, yeah. we don't want the very big. Yeah, chunks. it's half a cookie. Yeah. Now, and this is extremely, extremely crispy. Okay, so I'm going to remove. So you those. add half of it. Half of it. Because we have the recipe. Ah, we made half the recipe. Yeah, we have right, the right, recipe. Right, right, right. Believe it or not, these two, which is a lot, two packs is only half of the recipe. Okay. Um, approximately. That's approximately a half, like that. And this thing, I'm going to kind of mix it a little bit. Put it inside like that. And put it in the microwave for what we said, 30? A mini. I mean, let's put it for me. Yeah, let's be generous. So we put it like that and we put it for one whole minute. And then let's take a spoon. At the same time, we want to prepare a few things here. So we turn the heat on. And we want to add the following things. We want to add the butter. There's the butter. One stick of butter. Now to make it easier to cut, to make it, I'm going to cut it kind of the dairy. And we're going to cut and put here. So to let them melt. And we're going to mix those. There you go. We have this, and that's it. We have that. Then we want to add the chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to add the chocolate. So these are the chocolate, half an ounce. It's only four cubes. By the way, so best chocolate right. you can find uh, is from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, their bitter sweet chocolate is very, very good. It goes by half a kilo which is a little bit over a pound for like, what, four dollars a dozen? Oh, yeah. And we add to that also milk. Um, a quarter cup of milk. This is a little bit less we want. With a quarter cup of milk and the vanilla. Here it is, we add the milk. Now, if we didn't add the milk, we couldn't mix the butter and the chocolate. And the reason is there is too much fat. So the chocolate and the butter may not uh, mix together because it may be too fat and therefore you have to add the, uh, the milk. Now, chocolate may work depending how, on the fat content in the chocolate, but definitely if you wanted to do it with the nuts and butter, will never mix. So this goes here and we want to add one tablespoon of the Vanilla extracts. Oh, the, the measuring, uh, mm -hmm. measuring spoon is there. But yeah, yeah. Now I'm not using a measuring spoon because this is one of the things that is really doesn't have to be so precise. And we mix it like this a little bit and we let it melt. At the same time, cookies are not ready. We mix it like this very nicely, and it's going to be ready very, very, very soon. We're going to look at the cookie butter, and as a matter of fact, if you see, it kind of started to melt. So, uh, this one, 
Oh, you can mix it with this. I'll mix it with this. So let's see how well it mix. You see, it does mix because the cookie butter, the biscotti did melt, but you see, it's a little bit dry. But no worries because we are going to mix everything, but we want to mix it as much as we can here. Okay, it still, it doesn't hold. Here, I am breaking. Here we break it like that, the big ones, and we break it as much as possible. You see, the best way is to do it with hands, and I will. You want to break it as much as possible. You see, you want to break it like that. This is the best way, really. But then every piece, if you could smell. Do we smell this at us? Uh, because we heated the because we heated the 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 no what's the name of the cream? Lotus. The lotus. <laughs> because we melted it, it smells. Okay, this is going to be very, very soon ready. Always want to double check. So we did put there the chocolate, the butter, the vanilla, and the milk. And that's it, it's going to be ready in a second. This is going to melt. And in the meantime, anybody has a question? That's it. Okay, this is how it looks. And we are going to add this. Oh, that's good. Just to the mix. Now look how watery it is, but remember it is watery because the butter had melted and it's going to get. So we mix it. I'm not going to mix it with my hands now because it's very hot. I wish you could imagine, well, you can imagine how tasty it is, but it's really <laughs> unbelievable. Now we have that and we mix it as well as we can. But we cannot work with it. And the reason for that, because it's too warm and too soft, we have to let it cool down very much. And for that, we're going to stick it into the freezer. And the way that I'm going to do it, you can either take the bowl and stick it as is in the freezer, or you can do something else. I'll show you in a second. Stay here. Okay. We take this. What do we call this? Serene wrap? Serene. Serene wrap. And we take this and I put it inside the serene wrap. Like that. It smells so if good. You knew, <laughs> if you knew how, how it smells, if you knew, this is really unbelievable. And and you know, once you have the recipe, you see the the it's self-explanatory how to make it, it's not a big deal. I'm just closing it as tight as I can. The the big benefit of using serene wrap for freezing or refrigerating is because you can remove all the air out. If you can see, once I close it like that, there is no air. See, this is ready, and this is going to the freezer for the to the freezer for ten minutes. On top of the fish. <laughs> now we are going to do the other one, which is actually even simpler. We take again two packs of uh, biscuits, and by the way. If this is too much, divide it by half. Divide the recipe by half and you can do it half. And it uh, will be the same thing. However, as I said, you can freeze them as long as you remove the air. You can put them in uh, small uh, bags and freeze them. Now I'm closing it. Again, remember almost all the way to the end because we want the air to escape. Like that. And then Anger management. When you do 
that. Mm. We're good. In time. Look, almost ready. And we can use the same bowl that we used before. I'll break, I'll break, I'll break, I'll break. Now, all those survivors, we are going to get to them. So as you can see, we have all kinds of big survivors that made, made it, but we are going to break them. And again, even if you have one that is very big, that's fine too. It's not, it's going to get softened by everything. We are going to mix this with uh, the most famous uh, Jewish liquor, which is the Manishevitz. And in Israel, we don't have a Manishevitz. We have other types of sweet wines for Kiddush, and they taste exactly the same. We have Yain wine, Yashan Noshan, which means very, very old. And we have Nakdimon, and we have others. Okay, so another big one, and I'm going to mix with it only, at this point, the wine. I think. Yeah. yeah, first of all, we put the wine. So how much wine we need? We are going to use uh, a quarter cup mm. of sweet wine. Quarter cup. You can use the milk one. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, very important note, if you want to make it hard, obviously, you are going to use margarine, which is very commonly used in Israel because of that. So it was a quarter cup of many shavings. Very good. We put it on that. And this will soften it nicely and very, very nice. So we're going to mix it like this. Just a little bit to give it a little bit alcohol flavor. Like that. And then we're going to put all the other stuff So where is the butter? We have the, the butter right here. So again, a stick. Uh, I would uh, soften it a little bit. Actually, it is already soft. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. I'll put it for a little. You're adding it to here, not to huh? You're not baking it, no. All right, we're going to. Right. Now, okay. I'm going to everything on the here. Now, we use this already for the low food, but we don't care. We can use the same thing now. So I know it doesn't look clean, but actually it's just chocolate and stuff. So we're going to add these, all the other ingredients. Again, this is one stick, like that. Everything is better. Let's see if the cookies not ready yet. Show the cookies. They're not ready yet. Not ready. Okay. Now, the recipe calls for brandy, but we don't have to use brandy. We can also use a different liquor. So what I'm using is Irish cream. So I'm going to put two tablespoons of Irish cream. This is a way more than two tablespoons, but again, we'll be very happy. It's, it's not, <laughs> it doesn't matter that much. This amount, and we're going to add to this also uh, two cup, two, Two tablespoons of cocoa. Um, I, we have it here. We have cocoa. Yeah. You put, cocoa, you put cocoa. Um, there by the flour, by the by the sugar. No, no, it, 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 it. I'll show you. It's there, right there. Ah, ah, she made, look, she just made exactly two tablespoons. Okay, so these are the tablespoon of the cocoa powder. We had this. And we are going to add one uh, yolk. One yolk and one half, uh, half, uh, a, a, cup. half a cup of sugar. Now, this is very important. We, are, we have to be careful when we add the egg, the yolk, because we don't want to make it like an omelet. Mm -hmm. So we want to just make it. see how it looks. Want to be quick, a little bit further, so it'll be a little bit more light, maybe. You can see how it looks, it's going to melt. Once all the butter melted, because we really don't want it really boiling hot, 
We mix it very quickly. We mix it. Soon, 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 soon. It's going to happen. Now, very, very soon. Can you see the butter? I'm finishing it. See, I'm helping it. I'm just helping finding any refugee of the butter. I'm going to finish. That's it. Another one. I finished it. The whole thing is done. Almost. Almost. A little yeah. bit more. But it, you it, see will, this? it will make. It will, it will. Eventually, of course. <laughs> it will surrender. And hopefully, it will finish exactly when the cookies are ready. That's it, right? Or that's yeah, you just have to. Uh, we don't want to see any whites. Any white means butter. Okay, so this is ready. I'm going to add the yolk. And while I'm adding the yolk, I'm going to remove it also from the heat because we don't want to make it an egg. You see, very quickly, stir it in, create coolness, and that's it, it's ready. That's it. And now we have this. Final checks to see. Hmm. Now, you have to be careful. I can tell you one time I made a mistake. I poured this and I immediately started to mix it and it was very, very hot. So we don't want that, we have to be careful. So I'm going to add this. Let's take the spatula. It's even better, like this. That's it. And we mix it. Up. We mix it like that. See how it looks? It may not look very appetizing, but rest assured, very very appetizing the taste and you see it still looks dry but it will get wetter and wetter i have a feeling <laughs> yeah, that, we, that we didn't have any milk that we have to add here no yeah. okay this is ready i'm going to do the final touch by hand as i said to you there is nothing like using hands i'm going to break it like this you see this is how it's supposed to look, like harosses that I make, you see? This is how it's supposed to look. But you cannot work with that. The reason you cannot work with that, because as I said about the lotus, it's too cold. Now everything will come together. We're going to put it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes, as is, right here. I'm going to quickly make the healthy alternative. Now, the, we can make a, a very healthy alternative. And the healthy alternative will be made with dates, with coconut, and you can play a lot. Dates goes back as a candy for thousands of years. I remember studying the Mishnah and the Talmud, and there were so many stories about this stuff that were lost, found, how much they worked, and they used to call them velim, which were the dry figs, and you have these, which is the, the dry uh, dates. Uh, very, very, uh, very, very healthy snack all around Israel. People eat the Mediterranean. The Saudi Arabians uh, produce one of the best uh, dates uh, 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 types that you can find. So sweet and happens only once a year in the Ramadan. And Israel also export a lot, a lot of dates uh, from Israel. So I think 75,000 pounds a year. It's a lot. You want to rinse it? Yes. This? We can rinse it, but we don't have to. It's a it's dough, so you want yeah, to. Yeah, dough. <laughs> a little bit. That's yeah. fine. Remove okay. most of it. So we're going to quickly add everything that we need here, because this is, again, a one. <laughs> Funny. This is the one for the drink. Okay, okay I'm going cookies. to check the cookies. Check cookies. Not yet. Uh, Five minutes? Maybe three. Three minutes. We'll see. Uh, kitchen timer, three minutes. Kitchen timer, three. Okay, now we're going to go for the, uh, the, 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 the fruit ones. Sorry. You can tell me without the last time. Um, uh, so what are we going to add? Dry fruit. This one, right? That's, that's <laughs> energy ball. So first of all, we are going to add 500 grams of heated dates. 
these are the, actually we bought them already pitted. If you don't, you can pick them yourself. But again, the best thing about dates, very, very low, no fat at all, almost have minerals, vitamins, antioxidants, all the good stuff. After that, we're going to add one cup of walnuts. We're going to add this. This is going to be a lot of work. Uh, but you can, do, you can make half. So you can look at these uh, quantities and divide them to half or even by third. And even if you make a little mistake in quantities, it will work very well anyway. Now we are going to add uh, three tablespoons of tahini. Those of you who came to the other lesson know how I'm a big a, a, a advocate for the tahini. It's very healthy. But this has no sweetness at all. But you don't care because the dates are very, very sweet. We need one, uh, uh, three tablespoons. So we take one. Again, and this is very, very good. And by the way, this can hold long time, even not in the refrigerator. And in the refrigerator, it will hold, I wouldn't be surprised if you tell the year in a tight container in the refrigerator, or even more. Because it's very sweet. We add the tahini, and we are going to add the three tablespoons of natural peanut butter, or you can use other things. So in our house, we like the, Right.